Hello, happy new year, happy new year, everyone. Welcome to 2022. I am your host, Shania Lancaster. Welcome back to Pinky Hooks. <laughs> I hope that everyone had a wonderful New Year's. Um, I hope that you ended 2021 well. And on that note, <laughs> this is my first recording for 2022. So I just wanted to check in with you guys because there has been a lot going on leading up to 2022, leading up to 2022. And um, if you remember the last time that I recorded, I recorded the Christmas gift, the thrifty Christmas gift ideas that you can do and just gave you a tour of my home, you know, like my little Christmas decorations. So I was hoping to have one of the projects, this is for the crochet, one of the projects completed. Um, I think I might have mentioned that I will, was working on really big projects. And I was, five to be exact. And I am, I will confess, I am in the middle of what I call a crocheter's block. Um, it's pretty much like writer's block. Anyone who knits or crochets, we have all been there before. That is definitely um, something that definite, definitely happens, right? And that's when <laughs> you, you know that you want to crochet, you have ideas that you want to do and you're trying to execute them, but you can't seem to get it right. You, you're running into problems. And I am so frustrated because these were big projects. They weren't like little things, like maybe like a dish towel or something like that. They were big projects. I kept I kept ripping, you know, well, what we call, you know, frogging, you know, ribbing it out, ripping it out, ripping it out. And I kept trying to step back, you know, while I was doing these projects or whatever. And it was just, it, it wasn't coming together. It was so bad that I actually reached out to one of my subscribers, Barb, to say, I, I'm stuck. I'm stuck as she says, take a step back. And that's what I did. But sometimes when we're trying to create, even when you take a step back, it's not enough. Like I was thinking to myself, okay, I just, in my mind, take a step back means that I'm just going to walk away from this particular project and, and I'm going to start something else. But then that's how we all end up with a multitude of whips, you know, which anybody who does not crochet or knit don't understand what whips are whips are works in progress and as we all know sometimes most of those whips just die by the wayside because we don't really go back to them we see them in our closets we see them in in the corner <laughs> we, we we stuff them somewhere down into a container and we really do have good intentions of going back to finish it, but just like any project, you have to be in the moment. You have to feel the project that you're working on. And I, I mean, it is devastating to have used up 300, sometimes 400 yards of yarn. Like I will be on a second or third skein or a second cake. And then all of a sudden I would stretch out my work on the table and see that, oh my God, it's going to the left. It's going to the right. This side is too tight. This gauge is too loose. It, it was just ridiculous. And I was just frustrated. I, I, I am frustrated. Okay. Prior to me making this video, I actually was working on something that I finally found the right stitch for this particular yarn and I'm going to complete this one. I promise you, no sooner than I had a conversation with my best friend earlier this morning talking about where I was going with my channel, 
what am I doing wrong? You know, the frustration, the frustrations of the fact that I do work, you know, a corporate job, you know, five days a week. And then, you know, like everybody else, I'm trying to have a life. And then you add that on top of the arthritis. I was very, very frustrated. And I was telling her like, you know, I've had to pull stuff out. Well, after we got, you know, finished our conversation, she lifted up my spirits. <laughs> I started crocheting and realized that, wait a minute, something's wrong. So I stretched out the work again and I could see where I went wrong. And I'm thinking it was just one area. Nope. There were three different areas. And so I had to pull out over 10 rows of work. Yep. And if you're saying, well, Shia, 10 rows, it's not that bad. It is that bad when you are working on a huge project like a blanket or Afghanistan. Um, I said an Afghanistan. <laughs> an Afghan. <laughs> or whatever it is. It, it's very discouraging. And I really, and I was just so mad as I was pulling it out. And I was just like, because it was... I don't know. It's probably like the sixth time that I've pulled this particular project that I'm working on now, which is one of the six projects that I can't seem to get through. And um, I got depressed today. This happened today. And I I was just like, you know what? Because I was drinking coffee. I, was, I had an energy drink, which I don't recommend. I don't recommend it. I only drink an energy drink like once in a blue moon, like when I'm really like trying to get focused, but it wasn't helping. And that's when I was like, Cheyenne, no, that's not taking a step back. So I took a nap. <laughs> I literally took a nap and apparently I needed it, you know, and I woke up and it was two hours later and I went back to the table to finish, you know, to just kind of be like, let me look at it with fresh eyes. And before I even started crocheting, I saw the the original mistake that had the trickle down effects that you know kept carrying through and unfortunately I had to pull out another three rows yep and so basically that puts me back at the beginner like I think I've if you look at it I've only got six rows completed and this is a huge project and I'm making this video basically to talk about when you need to step back and don't put so much pressure on yourselves. Now, for most of you that are watching me, you may not have your own channel. You may not, you know, have a YouTube channel or you may not have an Etsy shop or you don't crochet or knit to, uh, to basically make a brand for yourself, which is what I'm trying to do. Eventually, my goal for 2022, you know, I would like to see if I can start, you know, selling. But basically, I am stuck right now. I feel like I'm at a fork in a road. And it dawned on me that there are times when you really have to step away. Now, I, by no means, am I going to stop my channel. I think I have built up the anxiety in me because I'm like, oh my God, I got to help and create something. And what's happening to me right now is because I can't crochet as fast as I would like, you know, I, I'm worrying that I'm going to um, lose, you know, my subscribers for those who are subscribed for the crocheting. Um, it, it's like I'm in panic mode. And so I think while I'm crocheting, I'm not relaxed. So basically what I wanted to talk about to um, crocheters and knitters out there is there is a time when you should crochet and knit. There is a time when you should create. And then there is a time when you really have to let it go. Um, basically, <laughs> you know, I'm in that mode right now. And so I wanted to make this video to let you know that I am probably going to have to step back for a little bit. I'm not really sure if I will be able to put out um, 
a video anytime soon. And I would say in the next three weeks, you may not see because at this moment, I really want to, I have projects lined up in my head, but they're, they're big. And I know a lot of people have said to me on the side, like, why don't you just do like, like little projects, you know, like uh, I'll do a, you know, like a little dish towel or a little hat or a scarf. And the thing about it is that there's nothing wrong with that, but that's not what's in my heart to do. You know, I, yes, I will do um, some more stitch tutorials. I will do some little projects here and there, but I am really focused on these bigger projects. And what I mean by big projects, we are talking about um, blankets because some blankets or Afghans are not, they're not quick. You know, people are drawn to that when they see that on YouTube, when they see the thumbnail that says quick, you know, and that's fine. That's fine because you may be in a situation, maybe you want to gift it to someone or you want a project. Maybe you might have to make multiples for different people like gifts or whatever. And you need to make something that's quick and easy. But as I, I want to be a designer. And so I want to be able to create pieces that, no, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, some of them may not be quick and they may be quick for you once I show them to you because you may not have arthritis or you don't have problems like I do with your hands. So you might be able to go through it quicker. Uh, yeah, that's, that's where I'm at right now. And basically the other thing too is I have to step out on faith and just trust that you will stay around to see what it is that I'm going to do. And I do understand that I do other content, but just like with crocheting and knitting, sometimes, like I said before, I may not have a subject that I feel like discussing, or there are moments when I feel like I need to really give my all to the craft of crocheting versus when I have the uh, conversations. And that's not going to stop me either. They may not be as frequent, but yeah. And and to be honest, I have not completed my first year yet of this channel. I started this channel in May, um, pretty much the last week of May, like three or four days right before Memorial Day. So I am still in what I call the, you know, learning to crawl, well, crawl to walk phase because I'm still trying to fill this out and... I have to just trust, like I said, that you will stay around to see what I can do. I might surprise you after this video. Who knows? You, I might pop up with a video like, you know, two or three videos next week. You'd be like, I thought you had to step back. I don't know. But I do know that I had an obligation to reach out to you to let you know what was going on because the last three weeks on oh, my hands, uh, especially like last night, they were puffed up. They were, I, I, my hands look like little marshmallow hands, you know? Um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm dealing with. So I was crocheting, trying to crochet through the pain, you know? Um, I was trying to crochet through fatigue and the only thing that I accomplished was, making so many mistakes that I did not have a choice but to pull out the work and start it over again. And I could have kept going. I mean, I know some little tricks, you know, that where I see mistakes and I can kind of manipulate it where I don't have to pull it out. But in my mind, when I do something like that, that was fine for in the past when I didn't have a YouTube channel. And it's fine if I don't plan on doing a tutorial. But if I'm going to teach you or show you how to do it, I have to have it perfect. I have to. I have to make sure because I'm trying to teach it to someone else. And, and this channel was not designed to teach you a mistake. 
It is to teach you, yes, if you make a mistake, you know, ooh, you know, and I've had a couple of videos, like I've looked at some of my past crochet videos and saw that, oh yeah, I, I made a mistake and I might've said something in the video, um, but I really want to perfect my, my art, my craft. And that's where I'm at. So for all of those, you know, you guys out there and you are working on something and you're getting discouraged, one of the things that you have to do is walk away, take some time, maybe get a, do something else and don't get discouraged about, you know, oh my God, you know, that's a waste. That's a waste. You know, I wasted that yarn, you know, don't do that. So that's where I'm at. Yep. But, uh, I'm trying to think what else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. But I just wanted to reach out and let you guys know what was going on again. Welcome to 2022. I hope that you guys hang around and we pick up some other people along the way for this journey. And, um, as I said, the initial video was that I created this channel. The video, the very first video, if you go back, you know, I said that I wanted us to grow together where we learn, you know, together. And that's what I mean. So, you know, I, hey, I just got to do me and, and do the best that I can. Just do the best that I can. Like dad always says, you put your foot out there, your best foot out there, and do the best that you can and don't look back, right? Because 2021 is not coming back. <laughs> so we are in 2022. <sighs> anyway, leave me a comment below and let me know, you know, if you've ever had that experience where you just got so stuck that you you might not have picked up the craft for a while, you know, maybe it was a week, maybe it was a day, maybe you had to like, just walk away and you hadn't revisited until like a month or two months passed. Let me know. Let me, let me know. And that's the other thing too. I would like to be more engaged with you guys, you know, again, no pressure for you to leave a comment, but that's the other thing too, because I want to know if there is something that you would like to see from me. Um, you know, I'm open, very much open to new ideas. I mean, keep in mind, I do have an agenda for my channel, but, you know, I don't want it to be like something where you can't, you know, say something. <laughs> I mean, some people, you know, some people don't really like that, you know, on their channels, but that's that's not my style, so... What else? I feel like I need to say something else since it's the new year. I guess I'm just saying I'm blessed. I'm happy to have seen another, uh, you know, another year. You know, every year that passes, there are loved ones and celebrities that they didn't make it. You know, I mean, look at Betty White. I, I was, I, I couldn't believe that Betty White woke up on New Year's Day and died that morning, but... I, I couldn't be sad for her because she lived a full life. You know, I she was literally 18 days away from her 100th birthday. But I think, and she was in good health. There was nothing wrong with her. She wasn't sick. I just think that the good Lord said, it's time for you to come home. You have done, you know, your purpose. And I will miss her as far as like creating new you know, like movies or TV shows, but I'm just going to hold on to what she has done. And she, prior to, you know, her movie roles, you know, uh, what was that? Hot in Cleveland and Golden Girls. Um, let me see. What else was she on? Mary, was it? Oh God. What's the, the Mary Tallimore show. She was in that for years but she, if you go back, she had an archive of old black and white movies. I mean, she was gorgeous, you know? And so that's how you remember people is you don't forget them. And I'll just watch those. But 
I'm not I'm not really that sad. I'll miss her, but I'm not that sad. I'm I'm glad that you know she is has moved on to a new life, a, you know, like an eternal life. I do believe in that and um and we should be grateful for the time that we had her cuz you know that's that's a long time to live. I mean, when I think about people living that long, I think one of the when I was a kid, one of my favorite actors was George Burns. And if you know who George Burns is, depending on how old you are, you know, and you're watching my video, George Burns, that man died with a cigar in his mouth. Like he was, I mean, yeah, I think George Burns might have lived to be 101. Don't quote me, but he was over 100. And just like Betty White, I mean, he just, I mean, he lived, that's a lot of years to live, you know? And I remember when I was a kid or, you know, like a teen, when he passed, um, I didn't understand about, I don't know, like there's a difference. Like I'm weird about death, you know, sometimes I cry and a lot of times I don't cry because if they lived a full life, then, you know, you celebrate it, you celebrate it, you know, and I know it's, that's kind of crazy, but that's that's what's been on my mind since we entered this year and we are now on day two. And, um, I don't know why, like she's in my mind right now, Betty, <laughs> Betty White or whatever, because she gave us a lot. So hopefully see you in the next life, Betty White and get your autograph. <laughs> but anyway, yep. So again, um, hang in there guys. I am doing the best I can. The video that I would like to make, um, I want to recognize the video is I want to do a follow-up. It is going to be a follow-up on the arthritis, you know, not only crocheting with arthritis, but to also maybe show you a couple of new things that you can do, maybe some new products. The arthritis video that I created was, it, or it is, it is my biggest video. I did not know that that video was going to go that far. I had no idea. When I created the video, um, of course, it's close to my heart. My best friend, Linda said that she said, you're going to touch a lot of people with that video. I didn't think anything of it. That video has been viewed well over a thousand times and it is the likes keep growing. And I, I could not believe that there's so many people are still commenting. Like I'll just get a random comment sometimes in the middle of the night or in the middle of my work day. And people are, they're telling me, you know, what they're either going through or what they do, or they're saying that they're inspired or whatever it is. And I am amazed by it. And I did not realize that so many people suffer from, you know, inflammation, not just arthritis, because you have to understand the main, you know, uh, pain factor in arthritis is the inflammation. So, you know, um, I, again, thank you. Thank you for watching it and also letting me know that, hey, it is a real issue. It's a real, it's a real issue for people. And just like, yes, it has slowed me down. I don't even know if that's a word. Slow. Mama G, is that a word? <laughs> and I'm, I'm saying to Mama G because she all, you know, she has this little thing where she picks words, her and her daughter pick words out the dictionary and <laughs> slow, slow, slowed me down. <laughs> anyway, let me get back on track. So, yeah that has slowed me down the uh, arthritis, but I keep going and I want you guys to keep going as well. So anyway, I'll, I will be doing a follow-up um, on crocheting or crafting or other things that deal with the arthritis. Yep. Okay. So I think I'm really done now. I am. So again, happy new year. Thank you for tuning in. And let me give my shout outs. Happy New Year, Barb. Happy New Year, Linda Lou. Happy New Year, Shelly, my cousin and my 
younger cousin, <laughs> Cam. Happy New Year, Aunt Kathy. Happy New Year to my mom and dad. Happy New Year, Neil. Happy New Year, Sue. Happy New Year, Bridget. Happy New Year, Brian. Yep. Happy New Year, Shannon. Oh, my friend Shannon, she's not feeling well. I hope that you get to feeling well soon. Soon. Happy New Year, Tealy. <laughs> yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'm so glad to see that we all made it. On a lighter note, <laughs> with the way the world's going today, when we all get to a new year or a new day, I feel like we're all living in Hunger Games. <laughs> it's like, ooh, we made it. <laughs> yep. Happy New Year. So I will be talking to you guys soon. If you like this conversation or if you want to see where life is going to lead me, leave a comment below, hit the like button and subscribe, hit the bell notification for any videos that will be coming up. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for those of you who are who have continued to stick with me. And I do look forward to 2022 and bringing you better, new and improved and much love <laughs> in my, my videos. So thank you. Talk to you guys later. Bye.